netball. It's fast, it's tactical, and it holds one of sport's greatest rivalries. So how did Australia's most popular team sport for women and girls come to be? It all started in 1891 when Canadian-American PE teacher James Naismith invented basketball. You might be thinking, oh yeah, like netball and basketball are really similar sports. That's because in 1895, Naismith sent a copy of the rules to a New Orleans PE teacher, Clara Bear. He provided a diagram with dotted lines that said, these players might want to stick in this area here, here and here, while those ones, they can go over there. However, Bear read his diagram literally, and she saw it as, you can only restrict players to certain zones on the court. So in 1899, her misinterpretation became an official rule of women's basketball, or what we now know it as netball. Some sources suggest that when the women's game reached the British Empire, that because the women's clothing hindered their ability to move freely, that they adapted the game to limit running and completely eliminate dribbling. Netball came to Australia at the turn of the 20th century and in 1938, Australia and New Zealand played the first international netball match with Australia winning 40 to 11. Due to complications of playing under different rules, representatives from various countries came together in 1960 in Sri Lanka. At their meeting, they established the International Federation for Women's Basketball and Netball, and they decided to hold a World Championship tournament every four years, starting in Eastbourne, England in 1963. The Australian team, captained by Joyce Brown, became the tournament's inaugural winners, but it didn't come without controversy. Australia defeated New Zealand by a single goal, but according to New Zealand's captain, Lois Muir, the Aussies did the dirty. With time running out, the Kiwis were a goal down, and on their throw-in, an Australian rolled the ball out of court and being outdoors, it just kept on rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. It denied the Kiwis their chance to win their first world championship, but a rivalry was born. Australia and New Zealand have faced off at the world champs 17 times. And in that time, Australia have scored exactly 762 goals against New Zealand. And New Zealand have scored 761 goals against Australia. They literally can't be separated, except for the part where Australia's won 11 World Cups and New Zealand's won five. But, you know, who's counting? The two sides have endured some epic clashes over the years, including the 1999 World Cup final, the 2010 Commonwealth Games final, which was sent into double overtime, being the longest netball game in international history, and the 2011 World Cup, where the Aussies won by a single goal in overtime. In 2019, the Diamonds were looking for their fourth consecutive World Cup title. They were also searching for redemption after losing to England by a single goal in the 2018 Commonwealth Games final. That one really hurt. <laughs> it's okay, we gotta be losers sometimes. <laughs> uh, but anyway, like New Zealand didn't even medal, so like they were actually probably feeling a lot worse than I was, to be honest. Under a new coach and with some of their biggest legends returning, the Silver Ferns rebuilt, while the Australians refreshed their side with youth. Once again, the two teams found themselves in the final of a Netball World Cup, and this time it was the Silver Ferns who delivered by one heartbreaking goal.